Hi, this is Ted with Historic Wallace Preservation Society with a special request of all of our Facebook friends and for those who live or have lived in Wallace or the Silver Valley in the past. Historic Wallace Preservation Society started as a direct result of the struggle Wallace was having in saving its downtown from being demolished. The construction of I-90 was planned to follow the path of Highway 10, and at one time I-90 using the old portion of Highway 10 came through Wallace down Bank Street and gave us the distinction of having the only stoplight on a U.S. interstate between Seattle and Boston. Concerned citizens and dedicated men and women like Harry Magnuson and Miss Nancy Lee Hansen fought for years to save Wallace and were able to get every building in the downtown section listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. And this forced I-90 to be constructed over Wallace instead of through it. It is ironic that it was the construction of a road in 1859 through 1862 that brought the prospectors into this area that started the entire Silver Valley. The Mullen Road, though a rugged and almost impossible to travel trail, resulted in the discovery of gold which led to the discovery of silver and lead and the towns that sprang up around those discoveries. And the coming of the railroad. Wallace becoming the silver capital of the world was a direct result of the construction of the Mullen Road. And over a hundred years later, it was the construction of another road Interstate 90 that almost caused Wallace to be demolished. So we are grateful that there were men and women who took it upon themselves to preserve Wallace and its history and to make it possible for people from all over the nation and the world to come and share in our heritage. Today, the goals of Historic Wallace Preservation Society have remained pretty much the same as they were back then. Number one, to preserve the rich and colorful history of Wallace and the entire Silver Valley. And this includes both historic and personal photographs, stories and memories of those who lived here and made that history. And two, we want to share our history and our heritage with all those who are interested in not only Wallace and the Silver Valley, but America's mining, timber, and railroad past. And this is where we need your help. We're asking those who live, have lived, or had family in the past that lived in Wallace or the Silver Valley, if you would consider sharing your old photographs and stories with us. Just a basic home computer with a scanner and an email address is all you need. We are looking for photographs taken between the late 1800s all the way up to 1985. Pictures that show buildings, downtown, schools, churches, perhaps a parade, pictures of your house, a street, an old mine or a mill, pictures that show the railroad. We understand that pictures are a personal thing. By simply scanning them and emailing us a copy, you get to share your history here in the Silver Valley with the world and yet keep the photographs for yourself. We're also very interested in obtaining personal stories and recollections. If you were a kid growing up in Wallace or the Silver Valley, tell us about what you did for fun. Tell us about the places you went to go swimming, places your family shopped, where you played ball, where you fished, and things like that. Tell us about your family. Where did they work? What did they do? Perhaps you have stories an older relative told you that you could share. These don't have to be huge epic tales, just what it was like every day 
growing up in the Silver Valley. All the photographs and stories that you share with us will be placed in a collection file that has your name. Anything we use, whether we post it on Facebook or in other forms of media, it will include your name as the contributor. If other people or organizations come to us looking for pictures and stories, and they use yours that we have on file in their project, they must include your collection name and give you the credit. Now we here at Historic Wallace Preservation Society do sell reprints of historic photographs, and as of now, it's one of the very few ways we have to bring in funds to the Society. But if we make a reprint out of one of your photographs, we will make sure that it has your collection name marked on it. Here at Historic Wallace Preservation, we're always looking to the future and for ways we can better educate and share our history with others. Educational programs, books, and even producing PBS-style documentary films are a possibility. But none of this can happen without the direct help of those who live or have lived here in Wallace or the Silver Valley. So please consider sharing your photographs with us. Pictures smaller than 8x10 need to be scanned at 600 dpi. This allows us to enlarge them to an 8x10 with better quality. Most scanners are set at 300 dpi by default, but if you can find your settings tab in your scanner software, it's easy enough to simply change it to 600. Then you save them as a JPEG and you can send them directly to us via email. Please be sure that you include some information about each picture, who or what we're looking at, year it was taken, or anything pertinent that you think we should know, and also include the name you want us to use in the attribution. If you have questions or would like more information, please email us at historicwallacepreservation at gmail.com and we'll do our best to answer them. I'm also asking that you please share this information and this request with others that you may know that are in or are from the Silver Valley. We know that there's a lot of people out there who are not aware of our society yet, but still might like to contribute and be a part. Thank you for your time and for your consideration. Music